No way! He just gave me a cat and never went armor! People who cheat in their Minecraft speedruns are hilarious because they're terrible at hiding the fact that they cheated. These are the funniest fake Minecraft speedruns. In this first speedrun, the player is aimed towards the ground so we know it's fake. Then he turns around and there's a full village behind him with not one, but two, three, four, and five iron golems. Yeah, that's totally legit. Then he walks to a very specific block and proceeds to dig straight down, which is widely known as a bad idea in Minecraft. To our surprise, the speedrunner miraculously finds a 10 vein of diamonds, which has a 0.5% chance of happening. Yeah, right. At this point, the speedrunner just stops trying to hide the fact that he's cheating because he digs through the wall to conveniently find a pool of lava. But wait a second, where did he get that water bucket? He clearly spawned that into his inventory and cut it out. You're probably wondering, how is he mining this obsidian so quickly? Take a look at his pickaxe that he just crafted. Somehow it got an efficiency enchantment on it. What is this guy gonna pull next? He then builds back up to the village, but he's in a completely different village. And now there's a ruined nether portal that's already lit right next to him. The chances of this happening are impossible. So this speedrunner goes into the nether, and at this point, the speedrun moderators probably think he's psychic because he once again digs straight down and falls right into a blaze spawner. This guy is really lucky. You may have noticed he only got one blaze rod, but this speedrunner doesn't need any more. He goes back to the overworld to miraculously find one enderman right outside of his portal. He kills the enderman, creates one eye of ender, and throws it to determine where the stronghold is. Now, this part is just laughable. He goes up to the house and types in chat that he has to think about where the stronghold is. And then there's a blatantly obvious cut where he recreated the house he was next to, and suddenly he's directly above the stronghold. And if that's not bad enough, when he gets to the portal room, he only needs one eye of ender. So clearly the speedrun is fake. At this point, the speedrun moderators probably got popcorn and a soda because this guy spawns into the end and every single beacon is already destroyed. If you ever need someone to lie for you, don't pick this guy because he's just terrible at it. This next speedrun is actually pretty normal compared to all of the other ones. The speedrunner gets wood, crafts some tools, and then loots a village. But this next series of events is so confusing, I don't even know how to process it. The speedrunner waits until it's nighttime, which defeats the purpose of a speedrun. And then he goes to sleep. He cuts the video to waking up in the stronghold. Before the speedrunner goes into the end, he loots a chest and finds a nuke? This one was definitely legit. In this next speedrun, the speedrunner conveniently spawns right next to a village. He gets some wood, crafts some tools, and so far everything seems legit. It's only until he digs down that we discover that he spawned directly above a stronghold. Now, maybe the speedrunner could have gotten away with this, but then he loots a chest that conveniently has full enchanted diamond armor, weapons, and 64 enchanted golden apples. Now, maybe he could have gotten away with this, but if you look at the armor he equips, the enchantment level is 100 million. Yeah, that's legit. The speedrunner then travels in complete darkness directly to the end portal room where the portal is complete. He puts text on the screen saying that his camera went out for a second or two, but he went to the nether and got eyes. Okay. He then one shots the dragon with his enchanted bow. And despite the run being more than five minutes, he says it was a little longer than six seconds. At least try to make it seem legit, dude. In this next speedrun, everything seems normal. But wait a second. Did you see that? I'll play the clip again. This speedrunner was probably fooling around in creative and forgot to get rid of the random stuff he spawned in. He then finds a village and finds some pretty normal looking loot in a chest and immediately goes to a villager to trade. But this villager is 100% leveled up, so he clearly went into creative mode and spawned this in. After getting some extremely OP trades that I'm not even sure are possible in vanilla Minecraft, our speedrunner digs down to find diamonds. He finds a hollowed out area full of water that suspiciously resembles the shape of a nether portal, and right next to it is a pool of lava. So he makes the nether portal, but he doesn't have any flint to light it. Right around the corner, our speedrunner finds a dungeon without the spawner, and inside of the chest is just one flint. Yeah, totally legit. So he goes into the nether and walks any very specific path that leads directly to a bastion, which leads us to believe that he already knew where it was in the first place. When trading, everything seems normal until he starts getting a crazy amount of blaze rods and ender pearls. He goes back to the overworld and ends up not using any of his eyes of ender, and here 
here's why. This speedrunner gets onto a minecart, which leads directly to the stronghold. Yeah, the speedrun mods won't be suspicious at all. Before he enters the end portal, he loots a couple chests with some extremely OP items, but he only takes this stick, and wait until you see what he does with it. When he's in the end, he doesn't even bother breaking the end crystals, he just sits there and waits for the dragon to come down. Now watch this. He just one-hit KO'd the dragon. This guy seriously thinks he's the one-punch man. This next speedrunner shows off his clutch skills by jumping into a ditch, where there's conveniently a tree, iron ore, and diamond ore. Now, this may seem normal at first glance, but if we look at the footage, we can tell this ravine isn't too deep, which means it would be impossible for diamond ore to spawn here. So he definitely spawned it in creative. The next thing you'd expect in the speedrun is for him to find obsidian and mine it, but how he gets obsidian is not how you'd expect. The speedrunner just sits there for a while and all of a sudden water starts flowing from above and falls conveniently into the pool of lava, making obsidian for him to mine. Either this guy is extremely lucky or this seed is haunted by a ghost, because the chances of that happening are impossible. Our speedrunner then goes to the nether and things are pretty normal, until he reaches the nether fortress. He's clearly struggling to find a blaze spawner and all of the sudden, a blaze spawner appears out of thin air. This seed is definitely haunted. The speedrunner gets his blaze rods, trades with piglins and returns to the overworld, he finds the stronghold, fills the portal, and is ready to fight the ender dragon. But once again, something was a little off about his ender dragon fight. The speedrunner stands still as every end crystal is destroyed without him moving a muscle. Then, when the dragon comes down, it gets killed instantly without the speedrunner even touching it. There's no doubt the speedrun is fake, but whether or not Herobine lives on this guy's computer is up for debate. This next run has the strangest methods I have ever seen. It starts off very normal with the speedrunner spawning in a village, and he goes right for the chest. But the weapons in the chest have been used, which means he definitely spawned in this chest and all of the items. He then uses the redstone to craft a redstone block, and here's where I really get interested. The speedrunner builds this strange contraption, and he launches himself in a boat with TNT, across the map, conveniently right next to a ruined nether portal. He finds obsidian in the chest, completes the portal, lights it, and goes into the nether. The speedrunner throws four gold ingots at the piglin, but he gets back 64 four eyes of ender, which isn't even a possible trade. The speedrunner then goes back to the overworld, and he digs out a part of the wall, places rails, and then he gets in the minecart. But when he gets jammed in the block, his character gets forced underground. I genuinely have no idea what's going on here, so if you think you know, comment it. He conveniently gets glitched right in the end portal room with half a heart to spare. The speedrunner goes into the room behind him and breaks a very specific block above him to find a few items. But what's important here is the boat and the lever. Wait till you see what he does next. He once again makes this strange TNT boat launching contraption, and conveniently launches himself onto the nearest pillar. After he destroys all the end crystals, he once again launches himself at the ender dragon, but the way he defeats the dragon is not how you'd expect. He starts typing in chat, telling the dragon to kill himself. The dragon says okay, and then it dies. If you've seen any speedruns like these that you think should be in the next video, at me on Twitter with the video links. Subscribe!